Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you a project which is as underrated as my channel. This project is called as Tiger. At a very high level in simple words, the purpose of Tiger is to provide you a function hub for your AI agents. What it means is that an AI agent is a software entity designed to perceive its environment and take actions to achieve specific goals or tasks. For instance, you can ask an AI agent to perform web search or to check your emails or to search any website for any keyword or to do mathematics or to write a code or to debug a code or to book your flights or whatever function you can think of, you can ask an AI agent to do it autonomously. AI agent not only knows how to accomplish that task, but also it knows how to do it optimally. Sometimes there are AI agents which can perceive their environment and automatically accomplish the task in most optimal way. These AI agents can also interact with each other. So this tiger is sort of a hub where all of these functions can interact. Now, if you have been following my channels, I have covered a lot of agentic or AI agent frameworks such as Langchain, Autogen, Crew AI, and the list goes on and on and on. All of these frameworks are great, but in their own sense. So maybe there is one company which is developing in Crew AI, there is another company who is developing in Langchain, and then you want to provide it a hub where they can all interact with each other. That is what this tiger provides. And then there are few things which are good in Langchain, there are few things which are good in Crew AI, and you want to combine all of these AI agents and you can create this hub and folk architecture with this tiger. And it is very easy to implement and I will also show you how to locally install it and then we will play around with it with both Crew AI and also with Langchain. Now, before I do that, there are a lot of tools and things which this tiger supports because it's a community driven project developing a reusable and integ integrated tool ecosystem for LLM agent revolution. It utilizes this Sonic or Upsonic. This Upsonic is for tool isolation storage and also it provides a lot of other things like automatic generation of documentation and uh, documents. All you need to do is to go to their website tiger.upsonic.co then log in. For login, the username is tiger, the password is tiger. Click on sign in. And then you'll be presented with this screen. I normally use this Oxonix website for documentation for any tools and functions provided by Tiger. So for example, if you want to see what sort of uh, tools you can use with your AI agents regarding search, click on search. You can see that you can search with DuckDuckGo, with Google, and you can read any website. If you want to see what sort of communication tools are available, then you see there is a telegram available for the knowledge ones, there are delete, index goal, lot of stuff is available. So that is what uh, there is. And if you it's an open source thing, you can also contribute and have your own function and stuff. Very new project evolving very rapidly and I'm more than sure there will be more to it very, very soon. Okay. Now, Tiger is influenced by Neuralink, which is another uh, project. And Tiger provides an AI-oriented computer interface with threads connected to the LLM interface. It offers a platform for AIs to control a computer by simply thinking. There are a lot of things which you can do with Tiger, by the way. With Tiger, your LLM agents can write and execute code, use search engines, manage your calendar, control your mouse and keyboard, peek into your headphones and much, much more. Essentially, anything conceived by your agent, Tiger will transform it into concrete actions. This really <clears throat> shows us the core philosophy of the Tiger project to harness A intelligence to generate tangible actions and support standard infrastructure. You can also think of it as a utility point for agent tools across any framework that utilizes a function call mechanism. You can also use it to build and nurture a community of tool support across diverse technologies and disciplines. <clears throat> it is free, open, and the license is MIT. What else can you ask for? Okay, enough theory. Let's go to my local system and get it installed.
I am using Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card plus 32 GPU of uh, memory. My GPU card has 16 GPU of VRAM. But because we will be using it API based, so you don't have to worry about GPU that much. You can even use a good CPU with plenty of memory. Let me clear my screen. Let's install this Tiger. So all you need to do is to install pip3, install Upsonic, and Upsonic provides us the Tiger. That is done. Let me clear the screen. Now that is all you need to do in order to get it installed. So for the next step, first because on its own, Tiger doesn't do anything. It is just a hub. You need to integrate other AI frameworks into it. So first, let me show you how you can integrate a very famous agent framework, Crew AI, which I also have covered on my channel. So first, let's install Crew AI tools by doing pip3 install Crew AI and tools, and it is going to install this on your local system. Let's wait for it. It installs a lot of things, and that is done. Okay, so. It, you can ignore this warning for now. I think we should be good. Now let me. So sorry, one more thing we need to do because we'll be using a GPT-4 model with it, and I think that is the only thing which is supported at the moment. But early days, I think I'm more than sure open source tooling will be and models will be available. Let's clear the screen. Now you would need to set your open AI API key here. Just do export open open. Sorry, open AI underscore API underscore key and then your API key. You can get it from platform.openai.com and that is a paid option. Just put $10 there and then you should be able to use it. So I already have set it. Let me launch my Python interpreter where I will be showing it to you. That is done. And now let's first import my OS and open AI API key. So that we will be able to use it that is done and now let's import the tiger from upsonic it is done and now let's instantiate crew ai with tiger and upsonic is active and the good thing is that whatever packages are needed it is going to download and install them automatically for me it is already there so all good for it let's wait for it to Check all the packages which it needs. It is checking all the packages. So far, so good. All the requirements are being met. And if there is uh, some package not available, it is going to do the installation automatically. All the packages are installed and Upsonic uh, with Tiger and Crew AI are activated. Let's import the. Um, Langchain, open AI with it, and then let's use our ChatGPT4 model that is done. And I'm just providing it my open AI API key. Let's also import the agent from crew AI with the tasks. And now let's define our um, agent. So you can define any agent here, but for this, I'm just going to uh, define maybe this agent which is called a senior research analyst which covers uncovers cutting edge developments and of course you can have multiple agents here and now let's give it a task so this is the task i'm defining where i'm just asking is who is fahad mirza and expected output i, I want is full analysis report of fahad mirza and putting the report to knowledge that is done and now let's give it to crew There you go. So I'm just giving the agents and task to the crew. And now let's kick off our crew. And look at this. How good crew is. It is just thinking. It is getting the comprehensive information. This is what agents do. I haven't told it what to do. Agent has gone to web. It's searching Google, searching my LinkedIn. And then it has found something about my LinkedIn. And then it is checking my all the stuff that I'm blogger. And then it is using open as api key so i think it has um, obtained all of the information about me there you go so you see 
it has uh, got the response file and answer that was managed to as a professional with extensive expertise in AI cloud DevOps and databases. His personal website is this, and then it's a host variety of content and all that stuff. And so, and it is a finish the chain. So, if I just scroll up, just sorry, let me quickly go up and show you what has happened here. So this is where I had kicked off true and you see it just went into this chain first action is searching the google and then it has provided this um, action to google then google has searched it then the action was search read website because google had returned the website and then it is again because there is another website linkedin and then it has gone in all the data it has going through amazing and then this is a thought which agent is thinking that the information is this provide a detailed insight so action is knowledge port so it is saving the knowledge processing it and then this is the final so this is what the power of agent is that all i did was i just all gave it a task agent went on did whatever it needed to do and voila how good is that so and now let's suppose you also use lang chain or lang chain we need to spec you know we need to uh, use another lang chain with tiger so for that make sure that you have lang chain and lang chain dash open ai installed so once you have it let's maybe let me exit it and show you how to do it so i'm exiting my python let me clear the screen and make sure that you have these two packages installed lang chain and lang chain dash open ai but I already have installed it, so I'm not going to do it again. Let me launch my Python interpreter again and let me get my OpenAI's API key. So this is my OpenAI's API key. And then let's import the tiger first. So you see, I'm importing the tiger and let's instantiate Langchain from this tiger. And again, it is going to download and install all the required packages. We don't have to worry about it. So everything is already installed almost. So let's wait for it to finish and then we will proceed further. It takes a bit of a time because it checks everything it need, needs uh, in terms of tooling. That is all done. Let's import all of the stuff like Langchain, Chat OpenAI, and other modules. Let's set our open AI's model, which is GPT-4 preview. And now let's get a prompt. I'm just going to pull a prompt from Hugging Face Hub as from their GitHub repo. You can use whatever prompt you like. And this is just an open AI function agent. Let's define the agent on the basis of this LLM tools and prompts. Agent is defined and let's use the agent executor. From blank chain that is done and then now let's import the agent uh, sorry invoke the agent and all I'm doing it I'm just asking it a math question here so let me run it there you go so another chain started and you got the result back and then I have asked it who is Fahad Mirza and I think it ran very quickly so let me go up a little up 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 there you go so i have just invoked it that who is fahad mirza and again it is going on to the linkedin searching the google with langchain and then you know all of that stuff my youtube channel and then my linkedin my own website and it is giving us all the information for myself okay so there are a lot of things that you can do as you can already tell maybe this is amazing stuff. I'm very, very impressed by this tool. Uh, Tiger, I'll be using it more. Definitely, I think it even makes using Langchain and Crew AI simpler. As you saw, very easy to install. So play around with it. Let me know what do you think. I will drop the link to it in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.